podcast. I am Javon, and this is going to be your West Ham versus Chelsea preview. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope everyone is doing well. First, let's get started with um, Mariska's pre-match interview. Um, I'll just go through some other news. Some The first news is Rhys James and Gustav are still out with injuries, and they will not be fit enough to play the match day squad, to, to be in the match day squad and to play the game. Um, currently, it is unknown how long Reese James will be out for, but we did see some training sessions where he was out on the grass. Today, they took the team photo and so on and so forth. Malo Gusto is also out. Um, he was told that he was supposed to be back after the Bournemouth game, but he's still out with injuries, which leads us into what the starting eleven could be, and I'll show that. And I'll show that shortly. Enzo. Enzo Fernandez and KDH is also back. That's Kieran Drewsby Hall. He's they're also back into the into the squad. They're fully fit, I assume. This they weren't out with injuries, more so illness. So they were I guess they recovered and they can make a feature back into the first team. Today, Chelsea released some training videos and some training photos. So the boys look good in training, the boys look happy. So we'll see how they get on um against West Ham. Now before we continue. There are some stats um, to preview for this game. Firstly, West Ham. <laughs> West Ham has been a difficult ground for us to go to and actually play. Um, it is. It's been one of our Achilles heel in the past few in the past few match fixtures with West Ham. So I'm not expecting it to be an easy game, but I'm hope. But I'm hopeful we can get the win because we need a win. Because if we get the win, that that would put us at Three wins, a draw, and a defeat in our first opening five games, which for a new manager at Chelsea and for someone an, an inexperienced manager at Chelsea to start the to start the league campaign, be good, especially given that the appointment was made over the summer. Now, if you were supposed to get this win, it would be three consecutive away wins. The only coach to do that uh, previously in their first season would be Pep Guardiola. So it wouldn't be a bad start to the season, and I'm looking forward to the game. Now, Enzo Mariska also answered some questions in the, in, in the interview he did, um, which was which was weird. Does he see our front three, um, certain positions in our front three, for such as example, Nkunku? He, sees, he responded that he sees Nkunku as a number nine, and his competition would be with Jackson. On the left, he sees Jaden Sancho and Ma Mikhaila Mudrik as left wingers, and on the right, he sees he sees um, Noni Madueke and Pedro Neto as right wingers, and in the ten spot, obviously Joel Felix and Cole Palmer. So I like I like the attacking options that we have, and I like how in the Mariska sees them. When people say um, in Kunku can't play as an out and out nine, I don't think it is his best position, but I think he can definitely do a job for us there, especially um, how we go. Especially how we play against different opponents, he can give us he can give us something different that Jackson doesn't give us in terms of that elite finishing. And we saw that at the end at the end of the Bournemouth game, substitution came on, linked up well with Palmer, and he got us um, that winning goal. And Zamariska had also had to answer questions in term in terms of the squad. Again, squad size not as big as they make it out to be and he's working with the players he's working with in some of the squad um in some of the squad training and some of the videos and pictures released by Chelsea we saw Karni Chukwemeka and Ben Chilwell being reintroduced into the squad them being reintroduced in the squad is a good thing Chilwell looks happy I always heard he was a good human being and he doesn't really cause any ruckus um in again in the dressing room and he's a good lad. So hopefully we can see him embedded into the squad. What amount of game time he will get, I'm not sure. As we have um, Mark Cucurella and Renato Vega at left back. Those are your primary primary and secondary left back. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if he could potentially link up with Sancho. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Now, let us get into the squad review. So let me put my squad on screen. And we're going to use lineup builder here for my squad. So this is going to be my squad for the 
upcoming game versus West Ham. I'm going to have uh, Robert Sanchez in goal. I want to build some com- continuity for him. Um, given that he's been, he's been, he started the season well. Everyone knows how uncomfortable it is when we're when you have um, Robert Sanchez in goal. And honestly, if he if he continues to develop and if he continues to cut out these mistakes and mitigate those mistakes, he could be a good goalkeeper. Do I think he'll be world class? Ah, uh, honestly, no. But I'm hey, I'm there to be proven wrong. In the defense, we have Wesley Fofana. Tosin, Levi Colwell, and Mark Correa. Now, I'll, I've seen online where a lot of people um, keep saying that Wesley Fofana should have been dropped or Wesley Fofana is having a stinker. I genuinely believe we won't get any defensive stability. We won't get any... We won't make any defensive progress without defensive stability. And defensive stability comes with these um, defenders playing together. The only difference in this lineup is I'm going to put Wesley Fofana out on the out in the right back position because no way can I go to a 90 minutes seeing this as he has a right back. Can't he can't overlap, can't link up, and he's very lackadaisical in the defending. And we can, just cannot have that within the squad. Tosin, when he I think I think I thought when he came on, he played good. He kind of covered some of the ground well. I would put him in that center, center back position, and I would partner him with Levi Cowell. No, obviously, I'm using a flat back four for my preview in terms of the squad, in terms of the squad. But when you look at it in actual game, it's going to quickly switch to a back three where you have Tosin, um, Fafana, and Cowell. Cowell is going to shift over to that left back position so he can play those passes in behind. And Cucurella is going to invert. When Cucurella inverts, he's going to partner um, the midfield uh, with Moises Caicedo. Moses Caicedo, I'm put, I'm starting in the middle of the part with Enzo Fernandez. I'm expecting Enzo Fernandez to venture forward. I would prefer if Enzo Fernandez sit deep and play those long balls in behind and kind of just play those line breaking and transitional passes, which we, in my opinion, I think we missed in the Bournemouth game. Now, with that being said, up front, I'm starting Cole Palmer in the number 10 position. He didn't have the best of game against Bournemouth, but then again, who did? Because I think genuinely Bournemouth stopped us from playing and um, they made the game physical and they just we just didn't get going. So with that being said, I'm going to start Palmer in the number 10 position. I am going to give Madweke another chance to start at, at the right wing position. Petronita didn't have the best game. I know people are going to say he's better as a right wing. And I genuinely do want to see what how he plays at right wing. So I wouldn't be opposed to Pedro starting on the right. Actually interesting. But I'll just keep Madueke starting as a right winger. And on the left wing, Jaden Sancho. Listen, the impact Jaden Sancho made when he came on is night and day to Pedro starting on the left wing who didn't have a good game. And what we've seen from Mihailo Magic so far. So I'm going to start... Um, Jaden Sancho, he he been training with United all all preseason. He, he he came in um after the transfer window ended. He had the whole um international break to get to to learn Mariska's statics, and when he came on, he he gave a good impact and he linked up well with who I'm starting as a striker, which is Christopher Nkunku. Listen, Christopher Nkunku played the entire preseason in Mariska's starting eleven. It's about time that we give him a chance to link up and play some league games. I love Jackson. I love the transitional play that Jackson gives us. I love Jackson's ball-carrying ability. But again, yet in the last game, we saw how elite finishing and elite decision-making at the top end of the pin, at the, at the top end of the pitch show is the difference between winning the game and losing a game. So for me, Ingo, Inkunku, if it's even the first half, if it's even one game, I want to see him start as a number nine. Now, the front four, we have a lot of quality, so it's subjected to change. We could see Palmer, in, we could see Palmer should push to the right and Felix start. We could see Palmer push to the right and Inkoko drops deep and Jackson starts up front. We could also see Pedro Neta and Madueke out. Oh, I'm not opposed, but this is the this is how I would start. Simply because if Enzo Fernandez is back, we have that long ball in behind to Madueke, right? Not that and not that Pedro Neta can't do the same thing. I just want to carry on Madueke's form. He wasn't scintillating in the last game, but this is where competition comes in. Mar- if Mariska does stick with him, that means Mariska is giving him, giving him another chance. But you're on a slippery slope. You got to keep your performances up. Can I have a lot less the performances when... You can have a lot less the performances when Pedro is there on the bench ready to 
go. Now, that's going to be my starting 11. Let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if you guys want to see um, Nkunku as a number nine. And, you know, remember, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And this is this has been the West Ham versus Chelsea match preview. If I had to give a scoreline, listen, I don't care what the scoreline is. Just give me a win and preferably a clean sheet to build some confidence with the defense. But if I had to give a scoreline, I'm going to go 3-0. 3-0 Chelsea. Maybe wrong, but we're hoping for the best. Thank you for joining us on the final support podcast. Peace.